somebody. What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. I'll be honest, though. It tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. <laughs> Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done OK. I look at Jack. I look at him, and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry him. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them? They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait. Get out of there! All right, all right. Go on! Scat! Shh.
John. We got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarland. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, and now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. It weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. You read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks, stop. Emergency, stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply, stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request, now, is it? I guess not. And she saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. Oh, about the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? Uh, you know. A little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. This McFarlane woman. What are you waiting for? We better hurry. I don't think I can let you go off again without me. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you'd want to keep an eye on the boy. Oh, while you were off supporting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. That Jack has seen enough of me for a lifetime. So, is she married? This Bonnie McFarland? No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal like me? No. Normal as in two eyes, mouth, nose, that kind of normal. Besides, ain't no woman fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. If you find yourself in a hole, First thing to do is stop digging. Another pearl of wisdom from John Marshall. I sure do miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. I ain't jealous so much as curious. You heard what she wrote. It's just some corn. She saved my life and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. How did she save your life anyway? found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Most folks would have left me there. Half dead from what? Bill didn't take so kindly to be visiting on it now. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there was really scared of him. Of Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was only frightening if he was afraid of dumb fools. Bill weren't so bad, but... Ducks went crazy, Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. Better way to live, but it was just a lie. So you saw before they did. Maybe, but they was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. You knew the truth, John, and they hated you for it. Where'd they take you? Who? Those government bastards. Where'd they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very funny. No, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. Sons of bitches. It wasn't them or being there. I didn't care about that. I've been in far worse situations. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise, thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable goat some manners, among other things. 
I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarlane. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Mr. Farland? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered.
Alamo can become as angels if you just put down the booze. We are campaigning in Congress. We will save this nation from itself. In the land of liberty, men should be free to live soberly without fear that the perils of drink may overcome them. Do you like what you hear, sir? Not particularly. You'll take away our last freedoms, friend. Freedom to forget about our troubles. You don't have troubles, friend. You have all the joys of heaven here on earth if you just put down the bottle. <laughs> you don't know me so well, friend. If you did, you'd know how moronic that sounds. I, Abner Forsythe, am not afraid to be called moronic, sir. That I don't doubt. Good day, sir. Oh, it shall be, sir. When we live temperately alongside one another, you are doomed! Doomed! So, before temptation gets the better of you. I heard about you. Sure you did. <laughs> you that boy killed Bill Williamson over in Mexico. No. You got me mistaken, partner. I ain't. Boy told me all about you as soon as you come to town. Town? That's what you call this? What's wrong with cesspit? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I saw you talking to that Abner Forsyth. Who? The temperance movement man. Man trying to put me in a poorhouse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Interesting fella. He's Jeremiah Somerset's pawn. The industrialist wants the, the state to outlaw public consumption of liquor. So he can make a fortune selling personal gin stills. We bar owners like me begging in the street. Ah, oh, my heart bleeds for the three of you. I just can't figure out which one I dislike the most. You kill Abner Forsyth. I'd do right by you. You can find yourself someone else. Oh. Kill him. <laughs> what are you still doing here? Oh, intoxication is a sin. A sin, a sin, a sin, I tell you. Hey there, Abner. Good to see you, my friend. Decided to join me and recant the evils of the bottle? Keep wishing, friend. You better move on soon. Fellas around here want you dead. Oh. I guess the path of God will lead me elsewhere in this benighted kingdom. Thank you for sparing the life of a poor servant. Kindly take this. Take care of yourself, Abner.
mister. I want to talk to you. What is it? I heard you tipped off Abner Forsyth after I told you to kill him. Now he'll be spreading his nonsense all over the territory. I ain't here to do your dirty work. Oh, yeah? Well, you can forget about drowning your sorrows anywhere around here. Around here, it's gonna be double the going right for you. So be it. That didn't work. Do you do your own yep. laundry? to double down. Hit me! Do I look stupid? Right. That about it's sums up our luck recently. I'll call. Irene. I'll call you. Ew, who is so you one, yeah? You scared or something? Let's up it a bit, shall we? Of course. Well, if it ain't Mars, then ain't it? Call you. Ah, uh, always oh, nice to see you on How do you do? You need anything, just yeah. holler at me, Missy. Yeah. I just ain't getting the card. Well, that didn't go well. This city wouldn't run without the law. You don't say. Well, I don't like it. Time is the poker table. Next week. Is that so? Hey, I need to go check out my tuberculosis. Where you need to go, friend? You're... 
John Marston, ain't you? What's your destination? I need to go to Gap Tooth Ridge. Just relax, take a nap. You're in good hands. I'm just gonna have a rest. That's all she wrote, buddy. I got a coach. You got money? Let's make it work. Let's go. Let's go!
There we go. be having that. Better watch your wife. That was a shootout every day last week. Not me, my dear. Martin. Howdy, Mr. Boston. Government. Much obliged. Come on! 
Excuse me, mister. Get this over with. My pleasure.
That's one. That's what I wanted. Let's make this quick. <laughs> this will fetch a good price. Yeah. 
for nature. Nasty. It's over with.
There we go. That's one. Yeah, keep going this way. Father. Buenos dias, senor. I see you know your guns. Conforme. De Santa me da besos como si fuera su hermano. As you like. Hombre de negocios, business I like. Nos vemos otro día. This looks like the one.
¿A dónde vamos? I'm going to Blackwater. You can rest. I will tell you when we arrive. I'm going to take a nap. I feel like putting an end to someone today. How's about you and me engaging in a fair and impartial act of dueling? Where are your gumption You should at, keep your gentlemen. opinions to yourself, pal. Thank you. 